You know, I watched a video by my friend Rhett Scholl about his routine and how he never practiced scales. And this video really resonated with me. It got me thinking about my own playing, my own practice routine, and what guitar mistakes I made in my life. I honestly do think that I have a massive chip on my shoulder about this subject. And like Rhett, I actually never in my life practiced guitar scales. I never sat down and went through the scales. I never bothered to learn any of this. Today, like back then, I just found it boring. It just didn't sink in. I didn't have the attention span or the energy to work on it. Today, if I'm not composing for a specific song, I will usually just put a backing track or a metronome and just do what I feel, play what I feel. Now, is this actually just a waste of time? Maybe, I honestly don't know. Like many self-taught guitarists, I started out playing because I just wanted to play heavy. I wanted to play fast. I wanted to shred. I wanted to be like Metallica, Megadeth, whatever. I just wanted to get that out of my system. That's what I wanted to play. I don't think as a teenager I even ever thought about why a song sounds the way it does or whatever scales or chords are behind it. It didn't even cross my mind. I obviously grew up and understood that there was a theory behind it. And I promise that I did try to learn it. It just never stuck. Watched all the videos. I bought all the books. I tried Rick Beato's courses. I did everything. But I just couldn't stick with it. I would understand it. But then two minutes later, with the instrument, it would just go away. I found it boring. And I also found it difficult to apply that in my playing. Now, in hindsight, I do realize that those scales, that theory is part, obviously, of my playing. But it comes from a very different place. It's part of my playing because I think it sounds good. It's part of my playing because by ear, I look for those notes because I know what they're supposed to sound like. But I don't do it consciously. Just to give you an example, if someone today asked me with a gun to my head, to play a minor scale in whatever key they chose, I would probably have a very hard time doing that. And that's not because I don't use them in my music, but that's because on the spot, I would not, off the top of my head, be able to go through it. It's not ingrained in me. And you know that after 30 years of playing, uh, I do feel like that's something I should know. And today I can say that back then I took a massive shortcut. I didn't put the effort in. I didn't put the time and energy to do these things. And so the question for me is, was that shortcut I took back then worth it? I do think that if I had the ability to go back, I would do things differently because by taking that shortcut I took back then, i.e. not putting in the effort, I think there is no doubt that it has made my life as a guitarist, as a composer, harder today. I do not doubt that. Another constant thought which I always have is, some of you may know that I compose a lot of soundtracks, I compose a lot of instrumental songs, I've released a large number of pieces in the past couple of years. How would have those pieces sounded if I had put in the time to learn theory? That's one of the questions that I always wonder about. Would those soundtracks have sounded better, different? What could I have had achieved if I only put in the effort? These are always things that pop in my mind. In rare moments of self-encouragement, I do think, well, it is what it is. You play what you feel, you play with emotion. The guitar for me is a way to express. It's a way for me to talk. It's my language. Granted that I don't have the vocabulary, maybe, but it is my language. But I don't actually know if this is true. This also links quite nicely to another theme which for me comes out of Rhett's 
video and I also am very aware of, which is self-confidence as a musician or generally in life. My self-confidence is very low and I can't help myself and wonder, is this maybe why I have such low self-confidence as a guitarist? This could be an explanation. As I said before, for me, playing guitar is a pure form of escapism. For me, playing music in general is a way to let those emotions out that you would struggle to get out in other ways. And I think it is, like any art, something which is very unique to the person. But I do wonder what kind of person I would have been if I had the fundamentals of the language. Overall, guys, I really didn't want this video to be depressing in any way. And as usual, I'm probably overthinking things, but I do think that it's important to share these thoughts with whatever community you have. And I am genuinely very interested in whether some of you may have experienced similar things, whether some of you come from a similar background to myself, or on the opposite side, whether you have gone through that hard work, you did take the time, you are a classically trained musician, and feel differently about it. So I, I am really interested in, in getting that feedback from you guys. Just to wrap this video up, there is one thing that I'm very, very sure about when it comes to playing guitar and playing music. If that is something that you love, then go full in on it. Don't hesitate, take the chances, don't think about what could have been, and just enjoy yourself, find what your passion is, and go for it. Mainly, have no regrets. Peace and rock on.